In this video, we're going to be looking at some mid journey V5 hacks. Let's check it out. So the very first hack of the day I wanted to introduce to you guys was this tool called DSNR, and it is basically a discord app that allows you to actually build out a prompt within discord itself using their application. Let's check it out now. So we're going to go ahead and click this link. It will bring up discord. But what's really cool about this is if you come down here to create thread and you hit create thread, it will customize you your own private thread in which you can now build out really in depth prompts. So let's get started. So right here, it says try using the slash design command. I can type in slash design a superhero flying over the city of Gotham. Okay, now let's see what it has us do. Uh, do we want custom or photorealistic? Well, photorealistic, duh. Okay, the next asks us daytime, sunset, nighttime, dawn, dusk. Um, Let's do dusk. No, let's do nighttime. I feel like that would be really cool. What is the superhero wearing? A classic superhero costume, armor. Oh, let's do uh, armor. What is the superhero's pose? Arms outstretched, fist raised, one arm extended. Let's do fist raised. What is the expression? Determined, serious, angry, serious. And of course, modern sky, uh, let's do uh, a mixture of different styles. So now what DSNR is going to do is actually take the questions that I gave it, and it's going to generate me this really cool prompt. So now before I enter this into mid journey, what I just want to say real quick about this amazing tool is the fact that you can come to it with a very primitive idea, like the seed of an idea, and maybe you're not really sure where you want to take it. And the fact that once you enter it in, that it understands what it is you're trying to ask it, like it understood the concept of a superhero and flying over a city. And then it will ask you very specific questions based upon what you entered to try and give you the best result possible by presenting you with options to choose from is just amazing. And so now we have this really, really long, cool prompt. And let's go ahead and enter this into mid journey and see what we get out of it. And voila, we have the finished results. Um, it's definitely interesting how, since I entered the words Gotham, it went completely Batman on me, which is okay. Uh, but I think these prompts look really, really cool, or at least the results do. Uh, specifically, these ones, I love the architecture and the city escape in the background. I think this one's probably my favorite. But anyway, guys, this is just one example you can use in order to get a prompt like this. Now, I want to state here that you don't need a massive prompt like this to get good results. V5 is tuned pretty realistically already, and you can get great results with a lot less. So while this can be a really fun tool to use to get really great prompts, there is another way, in my opinion, which is personally my favorite way, and that is pulling from the Mid Journey Showcase section. So let's do that now. Bam, we're here. So if you don't know how to get here, simply go to midjourney.com dot com and go to showcase and the only thing you need to do is just make sure that you have the recent tab selected because if you hit top it's going to show you a lot older posts and these are from like version three and version four so recent is obviously within like the past 12 to 14 hours and a lot of these are really good like this is incredibly realistic this this now the idea here as i covered in one of my other mid journey v5 tutorials is to not just like copy these specific images but by using the prompt formulas and things behind them. And so the reason I prefer to do it this way is because I'm coming in here and I already know visually maybe what aesthetic I'm already looking for, but more, I guess more specifically, I already know what the end result is at least somewhat gonna look like. And for example, like let's say, oh, here's another superhero one, imagine that. Let's say I wanted to go with something like this one here, it looks pretty cool. Oh, and I also wanted to mention too, uh, you do not have to be signed into Discord or Mid Journey for this, as you'll know here by the uh, the sign in sign. So all you gotta do is just hover over one of these images and triple click here, and then you just hit Control C, and it will actually copy over the entire prompt. Now, once we're back over into Mid Journey, we could simply just type in slash imagine like usual, paste in the prompt, and we have the exact thing, right? Cyberpunk Samurai, Neon Red Katana, Neon Color, Cinematic Scene. So here's the thing, with Mid Journey V5, uh, I remember in the office hours, they were actually saying that using the 8K will actually downgrade the end result. So we're gonna get rid of that. And I'm just gonna type in here, cyberpunk. We're gonna try the superhero theme, right? So we're gonna say a superhero flying over Gotham. 
and we're going to go ahead and paste that because I want to keep that theme going. And we're actually going to try this theme on several different uh, user prompts. And let's actually see what it's like with him having a neon red katana. So let's do it. As always, I love to have my 16 by 9. And if you don't know what that is yet, just type in dash dash AR, which is aspect ratio 16 by 9. There you go, folks. And wham, it's all done. So what's cool about this one is it really maintained the whole superhero over the city theme, but it definitely did a great job of incorporating the elements of that image that I pulled from. And this is one of my favorite reasons why I love doing this is like I said, you already have a pretty good idea of what the outcome is going to look like. You're just going to apply your own concept or idea without having to go to an external app and try to build it out or try to hassle doing the confusing prompt building on your own. You can just pretty much have a good template to work with. We're going to do two others real quick. They're going to be very similar. I love the look of this one. It reminds me uh, Alien and Predator. And so I'm going to go ahead and triple click and just copy that. Then we're going to jump back into Discord. And as you can see here, that prompt is insanely long so i want to make sure i go ahead and i copy the original which is a superhero flying over the city of gotham and we're going to paste that right here at the front since there's a lot of stuff going on in here i'm just gonna stick it right here and just hope that uh the end result looks cool and yes i'm aware i forgot to do the ar 69 oh well i'm sure it'll look great and while this is generating I just want you guys to keep in mind that as you pull from these prompts or do what I like to call prompt farming, you can, I mean, feel free to go through and change and delete and add to any of this. The whole point is that these give you amazing starter points, basically prompt templates to work with that you can already see has amazing immaculate results. And oh my gosh, I love these. Wow. Uh, this actually reminds me of the Black Panther specifically, which is really cool. Now, one thing that I think is really amazing about this particular uh, prompt is that I didn't have to delete anything, you guys. I literally just added my own concept at the beginning of the prompt and then just let Mid Journey do all the heavy lifting for me and do the interpretation. And would you look at that? This is actually pretty sick. So let's do one more. Since the last one was more realistic, I really dig this one. This could be really cool. So again, come down here, triple click, copy. Now, before I make a specific edit to this particular prompt, I just wanted you guys to know that like with a huge prompt like this, where there's a lot going on, uh, instead of just trying to go through here and comb and get rid of parts, it's probably easier to insert your idea. But if you have a short prompt like this, that is really specific, like a lovely whimsical illustration of X, Y, and Z, uh, then in this case, we can insert our superhero prompt right here, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put, uh, and we're going to see what it looks like. Let's make sure to do... That's 16 by nine at the end, and we are golden. And the results are in. Um, I'm not quite crazy about this particular outcome, but again, we already had a pretty good idea of what it was gonna look like based upon the prompt that we chose, which is just another reason why I love prompt farming from the community feed. So now that we've kind of done that, let's look at a more specific way of doing it because we're kind of just picking and choosing and window shopping. But what if we're looking for a very specific style that we want to apply? Like, let's say, like what if I had wanted a, a gothic style? Well, there really wasn't necessarily a gothic picture on the front page. So jumping back over to the community feed, in order to do this next part, you will have to sign in. And as you do, you'll notice that the community feed actually changes. Now there's a search bar and there's a few other things over here, as well as the images here change a bit. So going back up here, let's look for gothic because maybe that's really the style that I wanted to capture. Now here would be a great place to start looking where we could apply our particular style to it. Now keep in mind, because these are older, they're probably going to be in V4. However, we can still apply these same concepts to our image. Now, again, like in the last video, we are under similarity. So you want to click advanced and you could do a couple things. You could look under hot, you could look under new, you could look under top, but for all intents and purposes of this video, we're going to stick to the simplicity and just keep it on hot. So I think the one I'm going to pick is actually going to be this one here. Uh, just because it's not just a goth girl, it's actually like a gothic style. And so we're going to hop back in over to Discord. And so I'm really curious to see how our prompt concept of a superhero flying over the city of Gotham is going to work with this. 
and let's make sure we got our aspect ratio in there and let's, whoops, let's test it out. This one's definitely weird and out there and alien-like, and I love it. I think it's really cool. I don't know if I'd ever use this on anything, but it's definitely cool to see how you can just take prompts and stuff from here and apply your own stuff to them. So ideally, guys, I would really encourage all of you guys to log in and just explore and just look at different stuff you can do. I mean, we we barely scratched the surface here in today's video. I mean, you could apply the, this kind of imaging to it. You could apply this kind of style. What I would do is I would take your prompting concept that you want to turn into an image and I would just start going through and copying these and start applying these styles and these prompts to your concept and just see what you can get out of it. I mean, why play a bunch of guesswork when a lot of it is already done here for you and it's done exceptionally well. So these have been my Midjourney V5 hacks for you today. I hope you guys enjoy. If you like this content, please be sure to like, subscribe for more things on AI news and Midjourney and chat GPT. I will see you guys all in the very next video.